What's good, y'all? It's your man, Reese. Welcome to Drip Talk, the place where we talk about everything fit. Today, we will be reacting to slash talking about a message from Pastor Kimberly Jones Poither, all right? I didn't know she was a pastor at first. I, I literally found out she was a pastor yesterday. Like, I, I kid you not. But we're going to get into something that she said related to the ladies. You know, as you saw in the title, she was calling out the ladies. All right? But before we get into that, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification to help your man grow this channel. Without further ado, I'm going to stop doing the talking, and we're going to get into it. So let's go. Yes, sir. I'm going to put it on the screen for y'all good people so y'all can see it. So, Pastor said, Ladies, if you are looking for a man that can handle you, you probably don't bring peace. And she put the little heart thing with those little, you know, cute little emoji thing, you know. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, this is something that so many men, especially in the manosphere space, been talking about. That's one thing I, I realize a lot of them mention is peace. That's one of the main things. And this reminds me of a video I saw like sometime last year with a, a sister talking about, uh, it was on TikTok. If I if I if I find the video, I'll probably you know do a little reaction to that. But anyway, she was saying, "Oh, a real man, he can handle this mouth and handle this, you know, da 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 down da." So, you know, anytime you hear a woman really use the word, "Oh, he 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 got to learn how to handle handle me," that's a red flag within itself, good people. Especially to my fellas, because we're talking to y'all. That's a red flag. Pastor was speaking the truth. Pastor was keeping it a funky funk. She was keeping it a buckety buck when she said that. <laughs> That's why I put I titled this video Pastor Kimberly Join Jones Poither calls women out. Because this is something that a lot of men say. But some women just don't listen to it. And granted, should men bring peace too? Absolutely. We all should be bringing peace. But in general, who's the one that usually be causing the chaos and all start, trying to start drama? Men or women? Uh, if, we was, if we were to choose a gender, men or women, which one cause, causes more jump, drama like out of nowhere? Women, of course, because you know, they're more emotional and all that so they are more like a they are more um likely to react you know based off emotion instead of thinking about what they about to do before they do it if that makes sense so what pastor said was spot on all right anytime you hear a woman use that word oh he gotta handle me brothers i'm telling you this right now run for your life. Run for your life, fellas. Run for your life. Anytime you hear a woman use, use the word, he got to handle me, you better be running. You better be running faster than flash. You better be getting it, boy. You better... You better be getting it. I'm telling you. Because that is one of the biggest red flags that a lot of people don't talk about because as as men we have to face so much stuff in this world as it is already so the fact that you know you have to come home to a woman that wants to always start an argument nag at you talk dirty to you talk down to you Make you feel like crap after you already came from work. Feeling You already feel like crap already. But they making you feel more like crap. Alright? So it's just like, wow. 
And I ain't got no, I, my home is not even my safe space. That's why it's so important for, for you ladies to bring peace to men. That's a, one of the biggest things men want in a woman. And it goes the same for men. But in this case, we're talking about women. All right. Everybody should be bringing peace and not bringing baggage into other people's lives. All right. This is really important. So I hope you ladies, instead of getting mad, I hope you guys taking heed to this message because this message right here is very, very important. It's something that a lot of men ask for. That's one of the main things they list when they list what they want in women. And, you know, a lot of women be like, oh, but I got a mouth. I'm spicy. I'm this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I know this gets, it gets, um, this a lot gets, you know, attributed to black women a lot. But if we being honest, it's not just black women doing it. I think it's not, this is not a black woman problem. This is a Western woman problem. Because you find women of other races, white women, Latina women, whatever, doing the same thing. So this is those dudes that be like, oh, black women be doing it. Well, yes, there are some that do that. But this is not a black woman specifically problem. Specific problem. This is a Western woman problem, I believe. That's what I believe. Because like when you go to other countries, um, like I don't know if you guys know the channel Zoom to Thailand. Dude, uh, he would have Philip like uh, uh, not Filipino, but it's Thailand. But he would have um, women from Thailand. And you see how feminine the woman is. You know, she's super feminine and this and that. That's what men want. And being feminine is not like I said. It's not something. Like I said this in my previous video. It's not something that's weak. Because a lot of the times, women in the West say, "Oh, that's weak." To be soft and kind, you know. But if we being real, men are not attracted to masculinity in women. All right. Even if you're a woman and you work a job that you have to be masculine in, you at least got to know how to turn that off when you get home to your man. All right. That's just what it is, y'all. I ain't make the rules. I did not make the rules. This is just nature. This is just human nature we're talking about right now, man. It's human nature. Ain't got nothing to do with me just making this up. You, you can ask ask a lot of men. Ask anybody, man or woman. Do, is, is peace something you value? A peace of mind when you're dealing with somebody? 100% of the people probably going to say yes. That's just what it is, man. No man wants to fight his wife and do no man want to do that his wife is supposed to pretty much be his safe place not somebody he got to go to war with every day all right good people that's not how it's supposed to be i'm just keeping it funky i'm just keeping it a uh, biz out with you all right a biz out that's something i just came up with <laughs> you know it, it's kind of like the alternative to keeping it keeping it a buck I'm just keeping it a biz out. All right, good people? A biz out. So, yeah, that's what I have to say about this. It's not going to be a, a super long video, really, I don't think. So, that's all I got to say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of what Pastor Kimberly Jones Poiter said. You know, do you guys agree, disagree? I hope you guys agree for your sake. But let me let me know what you guys think, all right? Be sure to follow my social media, you know. Drip Talk social media, Instagram, TikTok, my personal social media, all my clothing brand stuff. All that is in the link in the description box down below. All right. So be sure to check that out. My email, driptalk22 at gmail.com. If you want to hit me up about video topics or anything fashion related or collaborations, hit me up at that email, y'all. Hit your man up. I'm willing to work and collab with you. All right. So good people. That was it. But today, until next time, y'all be easy, y'all be breezy, your man signing out, good people. Peace.